Liz, talk a little bit more about macular de degeneration. You touched on that a little bit. What are some of the early warning signs? What what do people actually see when that's starting and when it's maybe uh, full blown? What does it look like and what can some people look out for? Right. So, um, as I said, the macula is located centrally in your retina. And so, with early stages of this disease, there's those photoreceptors, which are the cells that take that light and transmit that information to the brain to say, okay, I see something. So they tend to start dying. So initially you see blurry central vision, and with okay. time those photoreceptor cells die. So you actually start losing vision centrally, and then with time that vision, that, that blinding, moves on out. So you see peripherally, mm -hmm. but you don't see centrally. Okay. So there is a simple test um, that it's called the Amsler grid. And so the grid is a grid. So it's, it's parallel lines, uh, vertically parallel lines, horizontally. So everything should be 90 degrees in parallel. But with this disease, they start getting wavy in the mm. center, blurry in the center, and you can't see them in the center with time. Okay. So that's... Is, is early detection helpful? Yes. With that? Absolutely, very helpful, because that is the target population for whom nutrition can make a difference. Mm -hmm. When I talked about this study conducted by the National Eye Institute, when they boosted people up with these antioxidants, the people that did best as far as delaying the progression of this disease are those with the early stages, that they were less likely to advance to the late stages. Once you're in the late stages, nutrition doesn't help. Mm -hmm. It's really early on that you should be particularly concerned for nutrition and the role it can play in eye health. And in, in advanced stages, the macular de degeneration is really a life changer, isn't it? Can you talk about some of the things that, that you can't do anymore when, when that's... That's just it. I mean, road. you ask, you know, people you know, what, what concerns you with mm -hmm. aging. And that will rise near the top of the list. Um, it's losing your vision because you do lose some independence. And, and that's, that's a big concern among mm -hmm. people. And that's why, you know, I, I spend a lot of time, you know, as I am doing right now, mm -hmm. educating people on the role that nutrition can play in eye health and, and preventing these age-related diseases. Now, we spent a lot of time talking about age-related macular degeneration. We didn't talk about cataract, and cataract mm -hmm. too has a role, nutrition has a role in cataracts. But cataracts is different because you can cure it, Okay. right? You can take out that old sure. lens and put in a new one, and mm -hmm. you're cured. The issue there, though, is costly. It costs a lot of money to have that done. Mm -hmm. It's the number one procedure, medical procedure, done in the United States, and that's costly. But you can cure it. Now, the difference with macular degeneration, you can't cure it. There's no cure. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You think about how to prevent it, or if you have it, how to delay the progression, and that's where nutrition comes mm -hmm. in.